Right. I am live. However, I cannot find my other video on my other phone. Oh, there we are. Let me mute it so I'm not in stereo. Okay. How is everybody? Just thought I'd come on and finish some cards off that I've been making. Now, there is a little bit of a delay with um, Facebook catching up. So, let me just um, try and sort out this so it's all nice and straight. Ready? Hi, Cathy Ann. Right, are we straight? There we go. You know I like to be all straight. Say hi if you're here. Hi, Karen. How are you? Oh, dear, dear, dear me. How are you doing, my missus? So, um, I thought I'd come on because I used my Leaves of Holly stamp set um, earlier on there and I stamped my own background for my cards. And I used all these gorgeous colours and I thought, I'm going to showcase, hi Lisa, showcase um, them to show you the four different kind of looks that I'm going to have from um, one A4 sheet that was stamped. Now I've already cut them up. Um, hi Lindy Mae. So this is what it did look like. <laughs> and then I cut it all up to make um, four different cards. So this one is a tentfold card and we've got the image in the left corner this one is just the same as that but the images are in the right hand side this one i hi everyone this one i um simply took the um top image and i sliced it into four and then this one i took the fourth part of the a4 sheet cut it down into one and a half inch squares and layered them up with some black basic Basic black cardstock. Put your teeth in. Hi, Lynn. How are you? So, I thought what I'll do is I am going to um, add some gold embossing on one of these and some silver embossing on the other one. And then on these two, I'm going to white emboss onto black. So I've got my embossing powders ready. I've got gold, I've got silver, and I have white. Um, be careful because sometimes you can mix that up with the clear one. Um, they both look the same. The clear one you would use um, if you're using, let me see now, um, a coloured ink that you want to make look like the, the wet effect. So we're not using clear today, but we are using those. Right, so... Let me put these two to the side. That's the ones with the white. I'm going to stamp on black for that, which I have here. So I'm just going to put that to the side. So what I'm going to do, I'm using the top layer from the stamp set, the Leaves of Holly. I'm going to use the top layer um, and I'm going to add the embossing on the berries. Okay, so I will do the silver one first. And then I'm also going to stamp, you're not feeling winter vibes yet. <laughs> well, I'm not as well neither. I am with the card making, but nothing else. Nothing else. I'm going to do, um, I'll do a silver sentiment on the bottom there. Um, so I will do season's greetings. So let's get that out just now. Because not everybody celebrates Christmas. So if you do season's greetings, it is a more generic kind of winter vibe type sentiment so let me make sure these are clean right so we've got that there we've got that one there right let's do this now i'm going to be stamping off of the side of this card so um i'm just going to use a sheet of a4 uh, copier paper um lindsay in the video might change your mind it may it may so i'm using this fab um little Stampin' Up! branded um, embossing kit um, accessory. So this catches all the embossing powder and then you just scoop it back into your uh, little tub. Okay, so, right, what we need is an embossed buddy. Now you do get one 
with this um, kit and it's going to last you a long time guys so um, you also get the little brush hi Lorraine that you can get rid of any excess um, this is more important when you're doing white on black because you really can see it if you don't scoop it off so I'll pop that to the side I'm not opening this this is new I do still have my original one okay so all we're going to do is now it's only a little bit of gold we're adding like I see on the berries so I'm using an embossed buddy um, to remove any static I'm just going to give it a little blow because sometimes you get a bit of excess powder off of there right so all I'm going to do and it doesn't need to be perfect okay I'm just going to add the Versamark embossing ink okay trying not to touch the actual card that goes there perfect then we need to pop the sentiment on and I'm going to pop the sentiment on right about there Ta -da! right get all your inkiness away out the road I'm going to pick it up with my tweezers Go switch that over now as long as I don't touch down here or up there I'm okay in terms of um oh that's not silver that's gold we're doing silver first aren't we hi Janet hope you're okay hi Vicky have I even opened this one no that's a new one let me get my open one I can never have, have too much embossing powder right let's get a grip of this properly Right, so I'm just going to add it over my little berries so you can see that there. And then also down the bottom over my sentiment, like so. I'm just going to bang that down like that. I'll use my little brush just to get every little last nook and cranny out of there. I'm going to open this up carefully over my little pouch and there we go it's going back in not too shabby actually come on don't be shy just give it a little poke and a prod you might get um some more extra uses out of that because this is new it's a little bit staticky so just bear that in mind folks right so i'm going to close this off put a little I'm just going to blow the any remnants of the silver away because I'm going to use gold next. Hi, hi, hope you're all well. Right, heat gun at the ready. While this is heating up, you want to put your lid on your embossing powder because you don't want it flying everywhere. Okay, I'm going to heat this up and while it's heating up, I'm just going to have a little uh, drink of my coffee, so give me a wee minute. You want it nice and warm though. Hopefully you can't hear me slurping. Ah. So there's two heat settings on our um, heat tool. If you're quite new to, um, I don't know if you can see and it, it heats up. If you're quite new to embossing, you can put it on the, um, the first setting. It will take a little bit longer to melt. Oh, look, the magic's happening. Don't know if you can see that, guys. Nice and close. Love it. Then our little berries. I'll give you a better a better look once, um, once it's all melted. You don't want to apply too much heat to the point where you're over melting it and you're going to burn it. Lovely. It's just a little something different. Just to add some bling to your Christmas cards. Right, now, obviously we've got a little bit warping, so I'm just going to do the reverse of the front and then flatten it out. Perfect. Right, let's see if you can see that. Sorry, my lighting's not great. There we go. 
I just need to see now yeah, if you can see it shining in the, the light. Isn't that pretty? Do you like that? Love it. Right, we're going to do the same, but we're going to do it in gold. Now, where is my little stamp? So this one is this way, so I need to make sure that I put the sentiment on at the right place. Okay, so we want to emboss buddy this. Lynn's just had to uh, chase a wasp out the house. No, please tell me that's not time for wasps already. They are so annoying. There's just no purpose in life for them, the wee mites. Right. Okay, so I'm going to do the same again. I'm going to put my little stamp. Okay, I'm going to put my silver away. I've got my gold at the ready. What we'll do is I'll hold that there already the now, actually. Right, so let's do this. Oh, here comes the, the postman. I'm not sure if he'll have parcels for me today, guys. I do apologise if I have to leave the life for a wee minute. Oh, thanks, Len. Right, you know what I'm going to do as well? I'm going to get the splodge stamp, which came from... Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Um, what have I done with it? You know when you have a stamp set out and then it just does walkabouts? Is it this one? Yeah, Nature's Prince. But you know what? I think I'll use my poppy one. Because the poppy one has... I like these paint splatters. It has a smaller one here, so I'm going to use that. Oh, I wonder if there's any Happy Meal for me. Right, I'm just going to randomly add some splodges, okay? So I don't know how it's going to work out. Just wish for the best. I'm going to add a sentiment up, Z top. I think we'll do it here. Lovely. Right, pop that to the side. Ink away, stamps away. Hi, Carol. The wasp made the hair stand up in the back of your neck. Oh, no. I just... Oh, I don't like wasps. I don't like them. At all. Right, this one we're going to chuck right over. And do that. Okay, do 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 Okay, I'm looking to see... Yep, I think I've got everything I need. There's a little bit missing off the side of the... Sentimente. Right, happy with that. Pop it to the side. Hi, Sonia. How are you? Right, okay. Here we go. Da, da, da. Oh, this is quite satisfying, actually. Brush the powder back into the wee tub. Like so. And we've got a nice clean tray. Like that. Is that it all there? Yep. Perfect, perfect, perfect. And then all you need to do is add the little screw bit back on the bottom. If you can't be bothered with that, you could always um, just scoop it out with this bit. <laughs> you know what it's like sometimes. Um, it's different ways are quicker, but I think that's great. Right, put this in the way in a second. I am going to heat up my... Keep one to, I would keep one to call this um, a glue gun, but it's not, it's a heat gun. All right, so we've done the silver. It's really pretty, and um, we're going to do the gold now. Oh, hang on, I've got a Stampin' Up delivery. Two seconds. doggies. Right, sorry about that guys. Right, start again. I didn't see the UPS man coming there. Oh, I seen the postie. Right, okay, so let's heat this up. Sorry about the noise. Oh, 
I think the gold on the black is quite nice. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. No, it's not. <laughs> And don't forget, I have popped some of that on my berries. Lynn, the last time I seen a wasp, I was stung on, stung on the back of the neck. It was before the pandemic. I must have sat against it on my office chair and... Boom. Oh, I, I have ordered... Um, so, uh, the, um, the gnomes sweet... I can't remember the proper name. It's going to be so cute. Right, so. Oh, sorry about the noise. So there is the gold. That looks good, doesn't it? Love it, love it. Right, let's um, get rid of the warpness. This is thick. Basic white and a top layer on here, so. It will, um flatten out fine. Right, so there's two cards. Silver and gold. What, what one's your favourite? Mm -hmm. I like them both, actually. I do like them both. Right, okay, now for some white and blo 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 white embossing. White embossing onto black. So I'm just going to get prepared. I'm going to use my tweezers for now. And the sentiment I want to use, um, let's just do season's greetings for them all, I think I will. Right, so what do we need? We need embossing buddy. Easy peasy. Mm -hmm. I mean, you will always get a speckle or two straggling on black. Do you like the gold tan? That's brilliant. But um, it's all right. Right, I'm going to stand up because I need to stamp this twice. And I think what I'll do is, there's one. And I'm just going to stamp this one up here. Because if I, if I stamp next to the edge, I'm more likely to get it straight. She says, let's see. Uh -huh. Ooh. Right, okay, for um, quickness, I'm just going to use my bit of paper. I mean, look at that. For first time. I'm just going to add some more for luck. Let's give it a wee tap. Perfect. Scoop this back in. Lovely jiffly. Pop this away. Right. My desk's all, all rough now. Right, let's get this bad boy hit up. And then we can put it onto my lap, the other two cards. Hi, Valerie. How are you, my lovely? Feels like ages since I spoke to you, pal. Ooh, Naz, look at this. I do like a white on black sentiment. I do, I do. I think it just makes the cards pop. You don't even even need to have any black on your card. I just think it makes the colours behind it pop. Right, turn that off. That's us done with that. Give it a wee waft. So it shows how if you use your other stamp sets to mix and match, because you can see the background, um, what do you call it, the paint splatter here from the poppies, and then the other splatter is from the sun print, nature's prints, which is this one. So, quite a few colours used today, like I said, um, mainly because the, I did do... With this um, stamp, it is light and dark for both stages, if you know what I mean. So you stamp in the light and then you put the second stamp in the darker colour. So that's how there's all those colours there. What am I doing? I'm just making a mess here. 
Right, put them to the side. Right, I'm going to get my little mini trimmer. Where are you? Where are you? My goodness. Lynn likes the white and black too. I know, it's a, it is. I just love it. I think it's awesome. Right, if you've got punches and things like that, you can um, make these a little bit fancier. Use your die cuts that you've got to, um, your die cuts, your dies that you've got to hand, any label dies, things like that. For today, I'm just keeping it nice and simple. I mean, if you have the time, by all means, get your... Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to layer that up in white, maybe. Get your die cutting machine out. And uh, go to town with it. Um, right, white card. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? I did have white card handy a second ago. Mm -hmm. Oh, come on. Right, let's see. This might look odd. Yeah, I think I'll just... I think I'll just put it down black as it is. Right, so... The two cards. Gorgeous. Now, what we can do is, these two are um, just stamped directly. Everything's directly onto the card front. These two, we've got layers. So I think I could maybe add some twine underneath there. I think that would look nice. And the twine I have is... I keep all my twine, but I do know that the Simply Elegant Trim, which is the gold and the silver, both of those are in the catalogue. So I'll do one of each, she says. Whoops. Um, I can't remember where this one's from. I do like to keep my twine, though. I'm looking on the camera or on the screen of my phone, and it's looking like really, really, really strong colours. So they're looking really good, actually. Now you could put your sentiment anywhere, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to put, I think I'll put it to the right hand side and I'll put this one in the, in the middle. That's what we'll do. So I need da -da -da -da, Trusted Steed, which is my stamp and seal. Now I've already popped these up with dimensionals. So to avoid um, flattening your card, what you can do is... Um, just attach it to the back of your sentiment. I should have done that first. Um, and that saves you squishing your card like I've just done. Right, so. Scissors. What we'll do is, once I've finished this, I will put it up on um, YouTube as well. For anybody that wants to have a wee, a little look. Mm -hmm. Right, fingers and thumbs time. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba. Let's see. It is really sticky, so I'm going to kind of squash it in a bit. Stick them there. Stick that there. Then I'll manipulate it to my liking. Mm -hmm. Perfect. I am going to use dimensionals to pop this up. Right, get that little straggler, straggler down. See, that's quite nice. And you can also complement it with some um, rhinestone jewels. I still haven't found where I've put my stash. So I will need to um, get some more. Right, where's my pokey tool? Whoops, making an awful racket. Pokey tool, where are you? Mm -hmm. Oh, there it is, right in front of me. <laughs> oh, dear. So, just poke and lift the backing off. Pop that in your little bin. Got my little upcycled um, dusty bin. Right. You know what? I'm going to put it... I'm going to put it right to the right-hand side over those two um, sections. I think that's quite nice as well. And then this one here we're going to do in gold. I think, oh, oh, I think you can get away with quite a lot. Like gold with black. 
just about split my cell there. Gold and black goes really nice together. And I think, whoops, gold and silver go with any Christmas card. Right, okay. I'm not being frugal with this stuff because I've got enough of it. And I can always order some more. I think the silver's about done. Right, so. I'm just going to start it off there. Just to put my singing. Singing when she's winning. So she thinks. Oh, oh my. It looks nasty on the back. But when you flip it over, it looks all right. So just kind of manipulate it with your fingers till you get the look that you're wanting. And then I'm going to add some dimensionals. Side, middle and side. Get rid of the little back ends. And we're going to put that... In the middle. Ta-da! Not bad for just doing a little bit of stamp your own background technique. Some people um, know it as one sheet wonder, but I've always called it stamp your own background. Four cards from one sheet. Um, hand stamp background, so got the silver embossing, we've got the gold, we've got the white on black with gold trim and white on black with silver trim. So that was fun, I thought I'd just come on and finish those cards off. Um, not sure which one's your favourite, um, but if you're not doing anything today, do go and um, have a little go at stamping your own background. Cut the A4 sheet into four bits, layer it up onto your cards. And that's just some suggestions of how to apply it to your, to your cards. You could always go around here with the Wink of Stella. You can use um, gold foil card if you want. I've actually ran out, I think. Um, I think I've only got a tiny bit left and I don't think it would be enough. But that would look nice um, trimmed with gold. Um, and, and there's lots of lovely vellum and um, sparkly and shiny cardstock in the uh, new on to autumn winter catalogue that we've got running just now so um worthwhile investing in some of that don't know if i've got my catalogue here if i do i wanted to show you quick so if you go to the back um you'll be able to see at a glance we've got the punches what cardstock what ribbon we've got packaging stuff like that don't forget if you shop online um, and spend £45, you can get a free item. Every multiple of £45, you can get a free item. Or you can save two £45 together and get one item at 90 value for free. Um, and there's new stuff just been added, so there's more things to pick from um, for this celebration. So we've got Metallic and Shimmer Speciality Paper here. That would look nice. We've got the Real Red and White Glimmer Paper. We've got... The um, glimmer paper here that's got like the green tones, a natural tone and gold. And we've got, well, that's basic black cardstock. We've also got 12 by 12 speciality vellum and snowy white velvet sheets. So there's so much you can do. So much you can do. And this is the embossing editions toolkit. So lots of nice things on there. Lots of nice um, embellishments and whatnot. So, um, yeah, we're halfway through celebration. Don't forget to treat yourself this month before it runs out. Um, get those free products. I will be popping, a, I'll be closing off this workshop. I know it says July, but I'll be closing that off um, the 18th of August. And I won't be ordering again till September. So if you're wanting anything, let me know. Lynn, I've already, Lynn Ingham, I've already got yours written down, hun. Um so yeah, I'll be closing that off in a few weeks when I get paid. Um, so yeah, thanks for coming on, folks. I will um, love you and leave you. And if you do do any cards as a result of watching today, do share on the, on the Crafty Stamping Club group because um, you just don't know who you're going to inspire. Okay.
Bye just now. And um, I'll speak to you all very soon. Bye-bye.